Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti E class. Today we are going to discuss a fantastic puzzle question. Actually, this question has been taken from IVPS clerk examination 2021, last year clerk examination. See students, even though this question is given at the clerical level, this question is very very important in the light of uh, many many competitive exams in our country. Nowadays, sir, uh, this type of questions generally appear in almost all competitive examinations. Particularly at mains level, they are giving questions uh, above the standard of course, but the logic which they have used in this one is immensely beneficial for you. But that reason only, I have chosen this question. They prepared this question in such a way that uh, many students, I am telling you uh, students, uh, almost more than 90% of the students will be tempted uh, to go beyond four possibilities. They prepared the question in that way. Many possibilities are possible. Many projections are possible. That is where generally students uh, lose their time in the examination. If you do this question with the conventional way of solving a puzzle, I'm sure I'm telling you it will be taking more than 10 to 15 minutes. See students in such a competitive examination where generally 20 minutes are given for 30 questions. If you are spending more than 10 minutes for one question, below this of course 5 questions they will be giving. 10 to 15 uh, minutes per one question, there is no fun in doing that examination. Definitely you are going to lose the exam. Then what is the solution? How to solve this type of questions? See, I'll give you my own method with the help of which you need not to go beyond the two possibilities. For that matter, students, almost 80% of the puzzle questions can be solved puzzle or seating arrangement with only two, not beyond the two possibilities. Always we have to try to do the question with one possibility only. In my previous sessions in seating arrangement, I have discussed one question. I give the link in the description box also. Where generally four possibilities are required, but uh, I did that question with only one possibility. You have to learn that methods, that type of methods and uh, practice unconditionally. Anyway, come back to the question. How to solve this one with uh, only two possibilities? Let's see this one students. What should be the first one? First thing you have to do, first one is you have to count uh, the number of persons or number of boxes, whatever it may be. Clearly they are given it is 8. Okay, 8 boxes are placed uh, one above the other. Now you understood what you need to do. 8 boxes are one above the other and they have given some clues for that one. You need to arrange the boxes in one column. Which box is above the other? Okay, right. Now, for the first clue they have given, only two boxes are placed between U and T. I don't know whether U is above T or T is above U. There are two possibilities to take this one. What are the two possibilities here? U and T. Between U and T, I am writing here. U, 1, 2, T. Or equally, T, 1, 2, U. I don't know. I can't uh, like uh, reduce this one to one possibility. I must write uh, two possibilities there. Isn't it? Right. What's the next information they have given? Only one box is placed between uh, T and uh, R. Very, very important information and uh, confusion prone one for many students. Now, generally 99% of the students go for four possibilities here. Doesn't it? How four possibilities? They have given very clearly that uh, one box is placed between T and R. This is T, one box. R can be here. R, T, one box. R can be here. Similar to here also. That means there are four possibilities. Now students, I am telling you, don't take four possibilities. In my regular course, I have discussed puzzle, only puzzle, only puzzle questions for more than 18 hours where I have given you clear idea, the conceptual way, how to avoid taking more possibilities. Anyway, I'll try my best to explain that one here also with this example. Okay, now without taking two possibilities, what is the alternative way students? Now we do like this. Don't take R here, R here, R here, R here. Simply on the other side of the thing, on the other side. 
Suppose if I take R here to uh, two more possibilities four, there is no guarantee that uh, we are going to form with the four possibilities only. There may be another four with the other information. For that reason, the best technique I am telling you leave this information there only. As and when it is required, I am going to combine both the information. I am going to take this one aside between R and D. How many? Only one R, one T, R T. 1 R. I am not taking 4 possibilities, right? This is one possibility, this is other. I just left that information. Now I don't need that. I need these two possibilities only. Okay, now go for the next information here. Only two boxes are placed between R and V, and V is placed below R. Very good information between R and V. Two boxes should be there. Now we should be definitely below R. How to show that one? Suppose this is a R. Okay, two box. One, two. It must be V. R. This is R. One, two. It must be V. Simple. Okay, next. What they have given here? Now, 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 now. Always what you need to do? Try to connect these two. If I want to connect these two, again many possibilities are there. Leave that one there only. Go for the next connecting information here. Three boxes are placed between S and Q. Both S and Q are placed above Q. Very, very important information. Alright, three boxes are there between S and Q. S may be above Q or Q may be above S. But three boxes should be there between S and Q. Both S and Q, whatever the possibility may be, must be above T. Try to utilize this information optimally. How to go for this? Simple one you see students here. Yeah? Suppose if I take this possibility, you take this or this, whatever it may be. In this possibility, if you want to keep S and Q with the given condition, S and Q must be above T only. If you get any confusion, you just write here S123 Q or Q123 S. Actually, it's not required, just for the beginner's side. If you keep SRQ here, how many will be there? 1, 2, 3, here SRQ. Isn't it? How many are there now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is not possible. So, this possibility is ruled out. This is true. There is no second possibility for that one. Clearly, T is here. SNQ must be above T. This is ruled out. Okay. Come to this possibility. Here, S R Q should be above T only. Now the question is, uh, what do you mean by above T? Above T, uh, the S and Q, above T means uh, that may be immediately above T or beyond that one. I don't know that. They have not given that immediately above T. Simply they have given S and Q must be above T. I don't know the meaning of that above. You must go for the possibilities. What is that one? I can keep according to this one SRQ here or above R also. Okay. Suppose if I keep SRQ above R. Just think it over in this way. Above this one how many should be there? 1, 2, 3, 4 should be there. 1, 2, 3. Again SRQ 4. Means total how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are there. Yes, sir, but total number of boxes are only 8. Isn't it? For that reason, keeping SRQ above R is ruled out. Now, where shall I take SRQ? Here, here. It must be SRQ. There is no other way. Now, above this one, 1, 2, 3 places. This is 1, 2, 3, SRQ. Now, how many are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, I can go for this one. Isn't it? See students how I have eliminated that one. Need not go for four possibilities. Try to do the questions in this way. Next to my job is, am I able to connect these two? Try to this one. If you are able to connect at this juncture, these two, with the help of the given data, by proving all the data, of course you can go for the connection. Or else, wait for other information. Try to connect. I am trying to connect here. How to connect these two? By seeing this one, students, you can say this is gone case. 
Yes, sir. That comes to you by practice. How, how you tell me? Simple. Now, above T, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Isn't it? 5 above T. T is the 6th bar. 6, 7, 8, 9. There are only 8 boxes. So, this possibility is 0. All of you following this one, this is the way actually to go for the questions. Now you see, finally, this is ruled out. I need to combine these two. If you combine these two above T, now you see above T, two places and you should be there. Now this is T. 1, 2 and is this place. This should be given to you. I am getting this one, this place. This, this must be given to this is you. Okay, now how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Absolutely okay. Now the 8th place. Where shall be the 8th place? 8th place may be below V or above this one. I don't know that. Okay, now what's the next information? Box W is placed below V. Now this is clear. Box W is placed below V. Yes. Now this is the final arrangement. Total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, what else? What is the other thing we need to find as here? Two things are there. One is uh, whether here SRQ. Here also SRQ. Between these two, one should be finalized here or here. If this is finalized there, you can finalize that one based on that. Alright. And uh, who will come here? This is also important. Okay. Now, go for the information. Not more than one box is placed between S and T. Uh, here students, you see, many students are getting confused. What do you mean by not more than one? Very important one. Generally in quantitative aptitude, you, you get that one in probability concept. Not more than one, not more than two, not more than one, not one. Just repeating this one. Not more than one means between these two, not more than one, there shouldn't be more than one person. What the clarity? There shouldn't be more than one person. What do you mean by there shouldn't be more than one person? That must be less than or equal to one. Now you got the idea? Between these two, less than one person can be there or one person can be there. That is the meaning of a not more than one. Not more than one means less than 1. Less than 1 means 0 or 1. That means between S and P, either 0 person should be there, no person, or maximum 1 person can be there. That should not be beyond 1. Between S and P, there shouldn't be 2 persons. There can be 1 person, or there may be 0 person also. Remember this one, students. I just Told, I am just uh, repeating this one for you. Not more than one means uh, maximum one. That can be one or less than one. Now you see between S and P less than one. Suppose if I keep S here. Alright, less than one, zero. That means P place P should come. Not a possibility. Or one place P, not a possibility. One place P, no possibility. That means there is no place for S here. If S is not here, obviously S place must be this one. S place must be this one. I am giving S. When S is here, obviously this place must be given to must be given to Q. Now it should be Q. Now go for this condition between S and P. Either one person can be there or zero. So for that reason, this place must be given to whom? P. Now it should be P. Okay, now the final arrangement, I'm just taking this one out. Here the final arrangement is this one. Okay, yes. let us bring this more. Alright, this is the final arrangement. This is S. Okay? Now the final arrangement is S, P, U, R, Q, T, V and W. This is how exactly you need to go for the questions. See students, now in this class 
whatever I have given you word by word, I am telling you each and every word is important for you. Here successfully we have avoided going by four possibilities. Alright, here the technique is that you started with one information. Many students go and attach the other information with that of the first one only. There is no, no need to go in that way. I have taken the first information with two possibilities. When I am going to attach the other information, it is going beyond two possibilities up to four. Then leave that information. Remember this technique. Leave the information there. Take one more information and start building the logic. As in when it is required, go and attach both the information to arrive at the final conclusion. Hope this is clear for all. Thank you so much students. This question is from IBPS uh, Clerk 2021. So from tomorrow onwards, what I do, I am going to discuss all the previous question papers of uh, IBPS Clerk, previous questions. That is not only useful for the students who are preparing for bank exams, but also for the students preparing for all competitive exams. We discuss both quant and the reasoning paper from tomorrow onwards. In one class, more than eight to nine questions we are going to discuss. Thank you very much, students.